Okay, so paksa means literally to slap or slapping hand. Depending on what energy is used, you can use this in, in various ways. So we'll go through some basic ones right now. So we can use this, if the arm is out, and I could be preemptive with this, I can initiate the attack over here. So I can use the slapping hand, all right, to slap down an opponent's guard and, you know, come in for my part done, okay? I prefer using more explosive uh, energy here to break his bridge as opposed to slapping at the elbow over here because I think that in order to slap, you have to open up a little bit, okay? Especially if you're a beginning student. And if I open up here, it's very easy for him to hit me, okay? So if I'm gonna initiate the attack, I'm, I, I don't mind attacking further down the arm as long as I move it out of the way and hit him. Here is an obstruction. I just want to punch Steven. It's in the way. So I'll move it and come through. Okay? Right. Now, if Jeevan's going to hit me, I pr would prefer not to pox out the wrist because he's going to come in and elbow me. Now, again, this is actually a difficult move for him to do, to just react and flow forward with an elbow. Um, but again, I want to try and make sure that his uh, ability or his chances of hitting me are greatly diminished, okay? So it's in this situation where I'll move much more behind my structure here as he punches me and I'll park some higher up his arm over here as we live uh, the park down over here, so we uh, punch him. Over here I'm moving much more using my body, much more for the park out as opposed to being explosive just with my arm over here, okay? And come forward. Of course, I could use the pox out. Like, this is preferable, especially with this particular movement that I'm the outside there. If Jeevan decides to punch me with the other arm and I'm on the inside, pox out generally doesn't like the inside game. If I perform this, I'll make sure I use a lance out or I switch my hands over here. So I'm here. I switch so I can start occupying this gate and carry my attack over here. It's important that the pox out energy isn't just shoulder or, or hand. A nice drill just to learn the, the correct structure is if I'm over here and I have my parks out and Jeevan presses on my hand. Rather than try to use just my shoulder muscles to keep him back, I'm going to use my structure as he presses. I just sink into my structure. So there's more elbow force using my back and the, the hand actually is secondary. Okay? So as he presses, even if he's got a very strong punch, it's very hard for him to try and just press me away or press me over when I'm doing the parks out. Okay? So a couple of drills in order to get the coordination. Simple ones here. You can just perform this in the air. Right? I can start to do this in a pack and punch drill. You don't want to do this too much. Just do it enough so you get the coordination and the feeling right. So we're just here. And we just pack and punch each other over here. So I'll just do, perform the parks out just enough to clear him off the line so it's a straight route for my punch to get through. He intercepts, takes me off, and hit. We make sure that the elbow stays nice and low on both sides, and I'm using the correct energy. If he starts to parks out too much with his hand, I can actually start to press him away. So he needs to absorb and use the correct elbow pressure. That's better. Punch harder, punch harder. So it's just nice and relaxed over here. We can now take this out of this position. So a nice way of practice. If you've ever seen Enter the Dragon, Bruce Lee was fantastic at this. He's here. You can just you can deliver the pucks out with the backhand if you want, if your front arm can't get through. Or we can have right side and left side, and I can step through and deliver my pack dar over here.